Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to the Institute. Hey, we gotta go talk to our father. We have a very difficult choice coming up. Do we go with the Institute? Do we go with our son and his proposed plans to improve humanity? Or do we stick with the railroad and help the synths? Well, I've actually played about an hour up from this point during this initial episode, but I found out that I had been recording my microphone, or my webcam audio rather, and it was way too bad to be using. My software said you're recording your normal microphone, but it was actually my webcam since I plugged in the webcam after the microphone. It was just a mess and I didn't want to give you bad audio, so... Daddy-o. I mean, Sonny-o? You're my son, but you're called- Father, I'm confused. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Tell I mean, me. son. What would you do when someone has stolen from you? Hmm. That's a loaded question. What's been stolen from you? Institute property is not often taken from us. We cannot react lightly when it happens. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. They no doubt mean to free these synths in their delusion that synths are somehow sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. What happened? What have they done? They are in possession of technology that does not belong to them. Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more... emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths, and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. Where are the synths located? A small settlement at the old Bunker Hill Monument. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the synths. That would only complicate matters. Is it just me, or will I have backup? Of course, sir. We'll be waiting for you outside Bunker Hill. You'll have support should you need it. But we want to keep this small. Okay, so... The, we have to reach Bunker Hill to do this whole synth business, but... We can go tell on them. We can inform the railroad of the current events. Good evening. Hello. Father has done remarkable things. Yeah, father is such a great guy. So we are going to go to the institute, uh, the the railroad, and tell them about the institute. But before that, we actually have two objectives to do inside of this place. First and foremost, you guys remember Virgil, the guy out in the glowing sea, the guy who looks like he's from a PS2 game. <laughs> He wants us to go and find the experimental serum he's been working on, and I got really close to finding it, but it was... I just... I barely missed it. I, w I was so close! I could basically smell the serum, but no. So the good thing about replaying or redoing this episode is the fact that now I don't have to go back and forth all the time, because there was a lot of back and forth in the Institute, so let's just finish up all the business that we need to do here, and then we can move over to the railroads. There's also another little thing I wanted to talk about while we make our way to the lab. I'm going to make this and the next few episodes a bit shorter for a variety of reasons. First of all, they take a long time to render because I render in really high quality, 60 FPS, 1080p. It can take between 7 to 10 hours to render an episode, so almost like half a day in some of the worst cases. So... This is ter This is a terrible place. Yes, let's just listen to Brian Virgil's log first and then I'll... Continue. Personal record. Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last ten years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing... It's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after, after I'm gone, know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then at least for years to come. After that, I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So, I'm leaving. 
I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the coursers can find me. Everything that we've done, the lives we've taken. If there is a god, may he have mercy on us all. So I assume that they were experimenting on they were they were doing some bad experiments, let's just put it like that, and so he trashed his place. I mean there have been dead cats here. But Brian left behind this serum, which we are going to go give him. Now, do you remember in the last episode when we were supposed to, or maybe it wasn't the last episode, but in one episode we were going to contact the Patriots. Now I didn't understand how that worked. Because I sort of misunderstood so whoops uh, I I did I accidentally clicked the wrong one okay so we want to load up the network scanner I didn't do it right the last time then we got to copy the encrypted message then we gotta read the reply Acknowledged. Meet at the Advanced Systems Maintenance Room. Oh, it's time to meet Patriot. I already know who it is, because I already did this. Oh, well, we can do it in a more orderly fashion. So, yes, about the episode length. First and foremost, like, I love making long episodes. One of the reasons is that I feel like... I really worry about not having enough content in one episode. If I have, like, a really bad streak of not interesting things happening, or my commentary not being 100%, there's a much bigger chance that something fun will happen in an hour than 30 minutes. You know, it's, you know, twice, Cynthia, twice as likely. You were but it would allow me to produce more episodes. And I know that a lot of people, myself included, feel less intimidated by a video that's like 20 to 30 minutes rather than an hour. So I'm going to try it out. And I've, I've said I'm going to try stuff like this out in the past, but it's never really worked out. The advanced system maintenance room, that's not here, that's in a completely different place actually. So we'll see. We'll see. I got a little timer next to me. That brings me back. That's nostalgic having a timer next to me. I can't remember having a timer next to me since I played the Godfather back in 2012. Double check that dark. That was that was fun stuff though. So this is the maintenance room. So let's go have a chat with Patriots. Hey, it's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? Don't turn your back on me. I wasn't sure me. anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. Yeah, yeah, I'm just looting. Oh, uh, you know. A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. Wow, your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? The railroad's in the business of helping since, too. That makes us friends. What? The railroad? As in THE railroad? I kept sending synths to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. How did you help the synths escape? Through hacking. The departments focus their best talents on hard science. Why waste time on terminal security, right? The SRB is the exception, and unfortunately, they control which synths go to the surface. But a forged work order from, let's say, bioscience can get a hand-picked synth on surface detail. And it turns out the railroad was waiting for them. Wow. Why are you helping synths? At first, I just wanted to see if I could get away with it. It was a challenge, you, you know? But then I realized the synths are really just like us. Except without any freedom, I decided to help the ones that wanted to escape, so they can have a better life. You've saved a lot of sense. So much to take in. But, wait, with you in the picture, I have this idea. To rescue a lot of sense At once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right. Let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. You seem confused, Liam. <laughs> That's a wall. You know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface. But that can't be right. Heck, you look positively normal to me. Uh, oh yeah. No offense. I look totally normal. Do you want to know how I I'm got these sure scars? I'm not sure we could ever make the surface actually a decent place to live. Damn it. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help, you know? Yeah, Liam. I'm with you on this. You don't have to convince me. 
So about those sins we're saving, huh? Mass breakout? That sounds fun. Oh, sh sorry. I forgot. Gotta keep our voices down. All right, Liam. Good. He's here. That Season guy? 14. It's me. Sir, uh, do you require something? Can I come it's over okay, first? one She's a friend. She's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. And you bring a stranger. You. How do I know we can trust you? Uh -huh. Time to persuade. Because the members of the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for your freedom. I... I thought only Mr. Benet cared. But your friends actually fight for us? That's what the railroad does, Z1. She's from the surface. I've never met another human willing to help. But, sir, we must make this quick. Right now. How many since want to escape, Z1? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed. By the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your sense to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. Just a few high security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah. A head-on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. Of course I'll help you. Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, uh, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. I'll find it for you. That's great. Unfortunately, the obvious place to look won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. Alright, maybe does the Mona can have some uh, info on that and then we what am I doing? Then we can save the synths. So we got Virgil Serum, we talked to Liam, and now we gotta report to the railroad. But before that, we got Brian Serum. And we, I don't know why I suddenly started calling him Brian. Because Brian just rolls off the tongue more. We're gonna get radiated as soon as we land out here. We're sucking down ah. a lot of rats. Ah, ah, go, 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 go. There we go. Thanks, Nick, for the heads up. I wasn't aware I was standing in the middle of the glowing sea. Yes. Brian? You okay, Brian? Brian's okay. Well... I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. Me too. Did you expect it to? No, of course not. It was far more likely that it would just blow up. But it didn't. You made it in. Were you able to find the serum? I've got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Oh God, copyright music. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Uh -huh. Transcriptive yeah. exon strands yeah. are formed. Yeah, is that? Has the uh, <clears throat> reverse transcriptase survived the nucleotide synthesis? Excellent question. Yes, yes, it has. Fascinating. No, oh. did you mean that as a joke? Sucker. Well. It's time. There's only one way to test it. Can you finally free yourself of the PS2 syndrome? Can you? I'm rooting for you, Brian. Join the HD era. Right. 1080p, here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, no. Oh, that gave me shivers. We wait. I can't stand that kind of stuff. I, I can't stand, like, I passed out during a regular blood test uh, last year, so... It happened in February, so it's actually one year ago since I fainted in that chair. Good times, good times. Then I woke up all disoriented, and I think I even cried a little, just because I was so confused. 
<sighs> Good thing my fiance was there to save me. Hey, I'm talking to Sorry, you. I was talking to the darklings about whatever. It'll work. Don't worry. I hope so. We just have to let the retrovirus run its course. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days, maybe a week, and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. You can trust me, Brian. We're all friends here. Ain't that right, Nick? Even though he pointed out a horrible smell earlier just as he was passing by your armpit. I don't know if that's connected. All I'm saying is use some freaking deodorant. Gotta be careful about your BO, buddy. Alright, so next stop on our map is going to be the railroads. Now, when it comes to the length of the videos, what I'm thinking is that since I'm going to be recording as much, it doesn't matter if it's two 30-minute episodes or one one-hour episode. They're going to be coming pretty... They will both come into the playlist at pretty much the same time. Meaning, for those of you who don't know, you can check out the playlists and find unlisted episodes even before they're put live, so you can view them early. So, you should still get your fix, just a bit more chopped up and easy to handle and easy to render, because maybe it'll only take a few hours instead of half a day. Don't, you keep walking, don't look Whisper. at me. Whisper's back. Ah, oh, Benedict Cumberbatch, how hey, you doing? You. Oh. She explained why, but I couldn't figure it yeah, out. Yeah, I'll go see Pam later. There's more going on than you know. Trust me. Hey. <gasps> Thank God. Woo! Oh, See, Des, I told you damn. The don't, don't yell in my air. Funny, you didn't sound certain yesterday. It is really, really good to see you. Did it work? Did you make it inside the institute? Don't you eye me, boy. Okay. Probably should not have said that to him considering his game color. Okay, how do we want to... How do we want to say this? The signal interceptor worked. I've been to the Institute and back again. I almost can't believe it. In Tom's holotape, did you make contact with Patriot? I met Patriot. His name is Liam Benet. I knew you'd get the job done. We need every scrap of intel you picked up in there. Write up a full report on Pam's terminal. After you're done, we'll analyze it and figure out the next step. Get to it. Filing a report? You. I thought you guys were the you're fun ones. Deal. You actually made it inside the institute. Hell yeah, sister. How you doing, Glory? Glory? We're actually going to do this. Yeah. I don't know how yet, but we're going to rescue my people. I'd hang with you anytime. Hello, Pam. I just here to file a report. Wow, isn't it fun being a rebel, everybody? Writing reports so late. Of rogue variable. That would be me. Data. There are three independent reports of Corsair activity. Damn. Analysis completed. That boy really loves his coffee. Based on target's activity pattern, hey there. location, and suspected Oh trajectory. god, that's scary. Conclusion. The Institute is actively looking for railroad assets. Hello there. Stop gap solution. Can I replace your head with this? Terminate Corsair threats whenever possible. <laughs> okay, yeah, go kill some Corsairs. Um... Just tell me what you want in English, Pam. Processing. Clarification commencing. Target designated Corsair Alpha is in a defended location with lower generation synth targets. Eliminate Corsair variable leaving no survivors. End of discussion. Okay, yeah, I know. Just kill... Just kill some Corsairs. That's, that's my... Good that's work, my job. Augusta. I'd rather know the hard truth. And live in ignorance. Yes. Can I talk to you? Something on your mind? Hmm. I don't know if I want to talk about Bunker Hill yet. Any news on your side? Things we've set in motion continue to move. There are complications, always are, but nothing worth bringing to your attention. How about you? Any news? Maybe later we can talk about it. If you need me for anything, just let me know. Preliminary analysis complete. Anything we need to move on. Affirmative. Code name Patriot yep. requires admin credentials for Code Defender Security Software. Cross indexing CIT security administrators with 2077 Commonwealth Census records. Filtering by surviving structures. One match found. Bergman. Wilfred. Bergman. Wilfred, 
registered as co-owner of Cambridge Polymer Labs. Hmm. Estimated so we gotta go there. percent chance of login credentials being located at this facility. I can't get facility. the face the right way. What can you tell me about Cambridge Polymer? Cambridge Polymer Labs, LLC, had several active military contracts specializing in robotics. The region is currently classified as extremely dangerous. After you get the password report back here, with any luck, we'll have a game plan by then. All right, we can go get that password and then free some sins and then be like, hey, jailbreak. We'll dig in and hold this position. I'm not really sure which quest to sort of do first, because part of me is scared that if I do the Battle of Bunker Hill, I won't be able to save any synths. But the other part of me is like, if I save the synths, will the Battle of Bunker Hill occur? So I'm probably going to go with the saving of the synths first, because it seems more like an optional object. They're not optional, but it seems less like a main thing. So that's what we're going to go with for now. Now we got to go check out the Cambridge Polymer Lab. So we got to be trudging through the wasteland once again. Anybody here wants a piece of me? Didn't think so. You with me, Nick? Nick's with me. We might want to equip some more combat-oriented gear. But for now, we'll be just fine. So I already went to the Cambridge Polymer Labs, and I know what's awaiting us. And it's actually kind of cool, so... I'm not against doing it again. I can survive. So let's have a quick look inside. Yellow. Hello, Molly. Welcome to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Thank you. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Oh, yeah. Sure. The world may have ended, but why not sit at a desk all day? Let's see what employment opportunities we have available for someone given your qualifications. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question one. Do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? Sounds like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tacks. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of sales coordinator. Expect a loquacious future in haggling for military funding. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? I took this the last time and it was dreadfully boring, so... No, let's just move it along. Due to staffing needs, we can forego the orientation at this time. Please follow me It was dreadfully lab, boring. So that you may she just brought me in there and showed me a non-existent picture slideshow. Please label any food or cigarettes you leave in the break room. Alright, I will. I don't have any cigarettes with me, I, I, don't, I don't use that stuff, it kills you. I prefer drugs! It's a lot, it's a lot better for your health. <laughs> oh man, I'm a druggie. Nick, come on, we gotta go to work. I finally have a job. I can finally say Sales I have a job. provided with a business suit, the cost of which will be deducted from your first commission. Oh wow. Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire and follow me into the clean room. All right, well, we, we have uh, work to do. On the other side of the clean room. Thank you for your attention and welcome to the team. Right away, that's gonna be useful. Well, let's switch into what she said then, a dirty tan suit. I mean, I liked my other suit, this one just kind of looks like shit, but... All right, here we go then, guys and girls. Let's see. You sure about this? I need my coffee before we begin the work. Please enter the clean room. All right. I have been instructed to inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Mandatory war never even happened in here. Oh. Eh. I'm being ratted. They're ratting me, Nick. For specific research assignment. Starting decontamination sequence. Yeah. They've locked the door. They've locked the door. We're stuck in here. Nick, you and ah. Yeah. They're riding me up. We gotta escape this death trap. We gotta escape this death trap. I never knew having a work would suck so much. Well, guys and girls, tune in next time when Alicia's adventures continue. Have a still good day. Take care and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.